object is transversal. A line which intersects two or more given lines at different points is known as transversal. Here, S it is intersecting two non-parallel lines that is P and Q at two different points. So, S is transversal over here. Now, what are the angles which are formed by the transversal or uh, when it intersects the two or more given lines? This is angle 1, 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7 and angle 8. <coughs> now what are the angles which are formed by a transversal when it passes through or intersects two or more given lines? Here angle 1, angle 8, angle 7 and angle 2, they are in the exterior of the lines. So, they are known as exterior angles. So, here exterior angles are angle 1, angle 2, angle 7 and angle 8. Now, similarly towards the interior are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6. So they are known as interior angles. So here interior angles are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6. Now next type of angles are corresponding angles. Where's the 
exterior now here the exterior angles are angle 1 angle 2 angle 7 and angle 8 so alternate exterior angles means exterior angles which are on the alternate sides of a transversal so here angle 1 and angle 7 they are alternate exterior angles similarly angle 2 and angle 8 they are also alternate exterior angles the next type of angles are co-interior angles co-interior angles that means interior angles which are on the same side of the transversal now here the interior angles are angle 3, angle 4, angle uh, 5 and angle 6 angle 4 and angle 5 they are the interior angles on the right side of the transversal hence they are known as co-interior angles so here angle 4 and angle 5 are known as co-interior angles similarly angle 3 and angle 6 they are also co-interior angles so these are the angles which are formed by a transversal when it intersects two or more given lines.